Hello, I'm Leslie Abberton, and this writing is kind of factual fiction. It's basically true events that have been slightly fictionalised, and names have been changed to protect those involved. Okay, this is called First Kiss. Our garage, carpeted with a living room cast off, painted shabbily and without any kind of the usual garage paraphernalia, was a teen haven. Dirty and grubby, but invigoratingly seedy. This was the setting for my first great romance, as my dad called it. That's not how I remember it, though. Stephen was one month younger than me and claimed he'd had tons of experience, even wearing a badge claiming I'm experienced. They're embarrassing now, such white lies of false bravado. But Stephen must have felt it gave him kudos in the early 80s. Likely it did. At any rate, our garage was in no way a romantic setting where two kids could become enraptured with one another in soft candlelight to the strains of Mantovani or soft cell. It was a tatty garage den with the drip, drip, drip of Manchester rain hammering against the corrugated roof. The lighting was bright and fluorescent, but at least we had lights. None of the neighbouring garages did. The main purpose of the garage was as a teen hangout, and a place to listen to 80s music, back in the days when such stuff was contemporary rather than fashionably retro. It didn't seem to matter that the sound was tinny and distorted, owing to our listening through a cheap and cheerful transistor radio. It was of little importance, as this was back in the days when you sat in front of your parents' stereogram to tape the top 40, DJ voice and all. To add to the unpromising decor and scratchy music, there was another factor that reduced the air of romance. Stephen and I were not alone. We were hosting our street's first snogging competition, and the garage was even more than usually crammed with teens. Stephen and I were simply two amongst many. Our kiss was long, very long. Our tongues were confused and overwhelmed with typical teen enthusiasm, we were timed, and although I don't remember the precise length of the kiss, we won the competition. With red faces and chapped lips, we emerged triumphant from the kissing dark to the rowdy and slightly jealous faces of our competitors. I couldn't look them in their faces, not out of embarrassment, but owing to the tingling I felt and to the unaccustomed excitement of victory. <laughs> My eyes instead hit upon the many smash-hit lyrics drawing pinned to the damp garage walls, squeeze, sex pistols, early electronic pop music. And as I came round, I realised a favourite was playing on the radio. Lucky number. As my lips recovered and began to loosen, I looked around at faces this time, and my own cheeks began to redden. Stephen and I were being cheered by our mates, mates who'd given up long before us. We had become Stephen and Helen, the champion snoggers of Windermere Drive. Shortly after, when my friends had left and my cheeks had paled, my mum called me indoors and asked if we'd had a good night. I don't know what made me do it. I don't know if I was bursting with pride or excitement or simply just had to tell someone, anyone, about my newly won title. My mum was not overly strict. Neither was she lenient. Looking back, I don't see how else she could have possibly reacted other than to do as she did. Tell me she was not impressed and send me straight to bed. Den experiment failed. The garage soon became out of bounds. Home again to vehicles and compost and garden tools. But I remember my not too hard won title. And I sometimes glow with silly happiness at the memory. Stephen and I are still mates. And our kids play together sometimes. The kiss, however, has never been repeated.